Let's check up. Let's check up. Pull up a chair for the midweek checkup now. Welcome to the midweek checkup. My name is Lindsay Blair, and I'm here with Bobby Gillis. This past Sunday, Pastor Jonah Sage preached Hebrews 9, 11 through 15 in our series called Divine Desire. Pastor Jonah said that uh, Christ is our most holy place. In him, we have all we need and will one day become all he made us to be. If you missed the sermon or need help remembering, it's time for a midweek checkup. Jonah began by asking, where do you long to go and what would it mean for you to get there? Maybe you long to go back to the way it was, but you can't. Go to a safe relationship, go to a parent or a child, but you can't. Maybe your body is limited, maybe someone has passed or changed, or maybe you're too old now and there's not enough time. For some of us, it seems that the way is to shut the place we long to be. There is no sacrifice great enough, and perhaps we'll never be who we could. Our text was all about the tabernacle, this most holy place. This was the place the people of God longed to be in because it was the place where they could become who they most longed to become. It wasn't the place as much as it was who is there. It was the place where the presence of God could be found. Getting God meant a return to Eden. It meant forgiveness, reconciliation, shalom. What we long for requires sacrifice though. All journeys do. The old priesthood was limited because the priests were limited. They sinned and they died. The old sacrifices were limited because the blood of animals is limited. Even if we've never called upon a priest or made a blood sacrifice, We've experienced these limitations in our lives. By the power of the same Spirit that made all that is, Christ offered a perfect sacrifice, not a temporary once a year wait and see sacrifice. His is a once for all perfect sacrifice. We don't need new sacrifices because we have a perfect one in Christ and we don't need new priests because we have an eternal one in Christ who still mediates between us and God. You are clean. You are forgiven. The room is open to you. The place you most long for, the place that can actually heal you and restore you is open to you because it's not a place at all. It's a person and it's a people. Christ is who you long for and he will make you his church. So Christ comes and says, love your enemies, not because this will make you free, but because this is how free people live. He tells you to give, and to forgive, and to be merciful, to serve, not because these things will make God happy with you, but because you need to learn to how to walk without a limp again. Mm, so good. So good. Christ, our great high priest, is our most holy place. In him, we have all we need and will one day become all he made us to be. Next Sunday will be our second to last sermon in our series, Divine Desires, from Hebrews 7 through 10. In a Sunday Bible Fellowship, we'll discuss together the most famous psalm of all and one of the most famous passages in the Bible, Psalm 23. What might God show us if we look at this together with fresh eyes? Join us and bring a friend. <laughs>